Hey everybody, it's Neil here from Post to Post. Friday, that means Jersey Concepts on this channel. Typically we do 32 NHL Jersey Concepts every single Friday here. Today's a little bit different. It's gonna be NHL related. We're still doing Jersey Concepts, but I am running a little bit low on uh, on sets from the community. So I, I have to make this call out every single week. If you've got time, you wanna come up with your own designs, Head on down to the description of the video. There's details on how to submit concepts to the channel. Would absolutely love to see your work and showcase it here on the channel. But today is a different because although we're still doing NHL, jer NHL jersey concepts, I've only got 19 for you. And that's because we're doing a special series called the Defunct Series. A designer in the community named Zach has sent these in recently and uh, I've not seen them before. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, they're still NHL teams just because they don't exist anymore. They're still NHL teams. I decided to wear... Uh, the Mooderous, okay, te technically Dallas Stars still exists, but unfortunately, the Mooderous does not. But uh, we'll we'll check these out because I've not seen them before. Let's react together and let's see what Zach's got for us. Coming up with the first one, which is, I think it's the Atlanta Flames. Let's bring it up. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got a little bit of a special surprise here. We've got Home and Away. What a what a nice little surprise. All right, let's get into this. Let's get, uh, let's get comfy. We've got Home and Away. Uh, I mean... It's pretty close to the Calgary Flames and what they use now, which is nice. I mean, that's the entire point of Calgary going retro, right? But the home jersey, sorry, the away jersey, the white one, I think looks better than the current Calgary Flames white jersey, the away one. The home looks pretty close. The striping is a little bit different, obviously, but I mean, it looks pretty close. But I think the away is phenomenal. I actually really love that. So great start here. Uh, next, the Atlanta Thrashers. So the team order is going to be a little bit confusing for me because I'm used to be going through the NHL teams, uh, current NHL teams, but now all the, the file names are, are, are different. So I, I don't actually know what teams are next coming up. But Atlanta Thrashers, yes, absolutely. Can we please, I don't know if we'll ever see the team come back. You know, maybe there's rumors, but can a team just wear this? I don't even care what team. Winnipeg is the obvious choice, but can just one team wear these jerseys? So fanatics can make these so we can buy them. Like I would love to own this. The home, the dark one is so good. It's it's amazing. And just a little decision too. I just want to point something out. There's a couple of things that really good designers do that makes their designs stand out from others. And they don't always do this. You know, sometimes it's luck, sometimes it's intentional. I think going through this so far, even seeing the four jerseys that we've seen, we can tell that Zach's pretty talented. And one of the small things that he's done here is utilized uh, a tertiary color, or maybe the fourth color, I'd have to really look, it's probably the fourth color. It's that light blue in the dark jersey. Look at the logo, and you can see it just above the, that thrasher, that thrasher there. And he's taken that at almost the same thickness, and he's implemented it into other parts of the, of the jersey, along the neck up top, and then balanced it down below with a, a similarly, similarly thick blue stripe. And then, He's done it on the arms as well. So he's taken that fourth color in the jersey, which is a really in, relatively insignificant color. It's not used very much, but he's balanced it so perfectly in that jersey. And because it's a lighter blue, and because it's a, it looks a little bit more vibrant, it stands out. And when you have a color that stands out like that and also is balanced perfectly, love to see that execution. Really, really good. He's also done the same thing with the yellow or the gold that's in there. The outline of the logo, the hockey stick, you can see that um, in, this, in the stripes here along the bottom and the outline on the alternate logo on the shoulders. It's a almost, I, maybe not almost, it is literally maybe a perfectly executed home jersey there. That's really good. The away jersey, the deck is okay. Um, the, the, the split color, you've got the burgundy, you've got the blue down below. Eh, it's, it's okay. I like the home jersey a lot more, but the, the, the white one is also beautiful. Okay, California seals. I also like the presentation here. You got the almost like metal kind of, you'd see it on like the front of a file, you know, like a file cabinet or whatever. Very unique. I like that presentation. If the California seals were going to come back, hypothetically, this is a really good plausible jersey, both home and away here. I think this is likely exactly what they would use. They're very similar. The away is good. The home is good. There is nothing wrong with it either. It totally makes sense. I like it a lot. Oh, there's gonna be a cut in the video here. I thought I was gonna sneeze. I think we're I think we're good. Let's move on. Uh, okay, the Cleveland Barons. Well, so the the home jersey, the bottom black, white, red, black. Just that quick transition down to the black. If you just squint your eyes a little bit and remove the main logo, 
kind of reminds you of the Ottawa Senators a bit, which is not a bad thing. Maybe some some Carolina uh, Hurricanes as well. But I, I do like the bottom of both of the jerseys. I think they're excellent. The logo is pretty bold. I mean, it's the logo. What do you do? But the shoulder patch could maybe maybe have something in there, maybe a bit of writing, maybe the Barons in like a really cool script font in the shoulder patch. Right now with just the white outline, a little empty, a little empty, especially since you can also see it in the primary logo here. But both look pretty good. Uh, Colorado Rockies, uh, one of my favorite brands ever in any sports team. I love it. Absolutely love it. I think it's I think it's perfect. Wouldn't change anything. I love the arms. They're really cool. I like the shoulders. They're excellent. The home jersey, I like more of the away jersey, uh, is still really good. Love both. Excellent execution here. The Hamilton Tigers. Yeah, I forgot about this team. Hamilton Tigers, 1920 to 1925. They were not in the NHL very long, but they were around when the NHL started. Now, the NHL started in 1917. Obviously, 1920 is not 1917, but in that first 10 years of the NHL, uh, this was, you know, this was one of the teams that uh, what, what that kind of popped up and was around. And unfortunately, they did not last, but uh, they play an important role in the NHL's history. And their branding here is very similar to the Boston Bruins, but just a little bit different. There's been rumors for maybe almost 20 years, definitely about 10 or 15. But there's been long time rumors of a specific someone trying to bring a team to Canada in Hamilton. It's been shut down multiple times for multiple different reasons, but it would be really cool to see a team come back to Hamilton. If you don't know, Hamilton is a city in Ontario. It is, I believe, just west, southwest or west of Toronto. And uh, there would be conflict there for fans and stuff. And, you know, how many fans would migrate to be Tigers fans if they were Maple Leafs fans? So, I, I don't know. I, I think it would be cool if it came back. But, yes, yeah, so these are nice jerseys. Hartford Whalers, this is an easy one. Uh, we've seen uh, similar jerseys, three from the Carolina Hurricanes. So this is not really unusual to see at all. This is exactly what I would expect. Both very nice jerseys. I think I like the away one more. That white one is beautiful with the blue tail. Kansas City. Well, we saw kind of a rendition of this a bit with the New Jersey Devils reverse retro 2.0. And to see it, it, not it, but you know, like a variation of it. In Kansas City logos, logos on both jerseys, it looks really good. I, I like this a lot. I would love to see this as an actual jersey. Both are fantastic. No disappointments here, honestly. Uh, Minnesota North Stars. We've seen kind of similar stuff as well. The Minnesota Wild reverse retros. Both of them look a little bit like this, and that's definitely okay. That logo is so iconic. It's so n nostalgic. I would love to see Minnesota use it. I don't know if they technically can use the logo. I don't actually know who owns the rights. I'm not sure if it's Dallas or if it's Minnesota now. I don't know, but uh, I don't care who uses it. It would be really cool to see. Even if Dallas used it, I wouldn't even be mad because it's such a cool logo. Uh, Montreal Maroons, I was waiting for this one. Uh, yes, I love Montreal Maroons concepts because we get that deep, beautiful maroon color and we get it typically accompanied, accompanied by off-white and not white. And I love the historic, uh, just like very nostalgic aspect of that. It looks weathered, it looks traditional, and I, I would love to see something like this come back in the NHL for the Montreal Canadiens just to use as, as a specialty jersey or something. I think that would be so cool. It would sell very well. Both of these are beautiful. They're simple. It's exactly what it should be for the Maroons. Uh, the Montreal Wanderers, I forgot about this team. Yeah, not not the best branding. It looks a little superhero e. It's a little bit Detroit Red Wings as well, so it's fine. It's fine, but it's not going to win any awards. The New York Americans, yes, this was a very cool team, and they had some pretty cool jerseys back in the day as well. Lots of stars on here. I love the shoulders. Uh, this this logo is okay. It's not bad. It's weird to see, though. It's definitely weird to see. Uh, basically, the Rangers jersey just kind of changed up a little bit. I do like it, though. Uh, Ottawa Senators. So, yeah, the Ottawa Senators existed, and then... De-existed, that's not a word. <laughs> they no longer existed after a certain point, uh, 1917 to 1934. And then they obviously came back in, what, 1992? Um, but these are pretty cool jerseys. The gray is not bad, not bad. Uh, the I think away jersey's likely gonna be my preference if I had to pick one of them, um, but neither are bad at all. The gray is, I don't know, I'd have to, I'd have to workshop the gray a little bit. Uh, the Philadelphia Quakers from 1930 to 1931. If I'm not mistaken, the NHL, the NHL Quakers, the Philadelphia Quakers became 
the Pittsburgh Pirates or the Pittsburgh Pirates became the Quakers? I'm not actually sure. So if I guess we'll see Pittsburgh maybe next, depending on the alphabetical order of the file names. But I'm assuming the, the Pittsburgh Pirates will be uh, coming up. Uh, I just don't remember the year. So it's 1930 to 1931. The Pirates might be 32 to whatever or 31 to whatever. But yeah, Quakers, although they didn't exist very long, they're pretty popular in the Philadelphia Flyers lore. And it would be really cool to actually see the, the Flyers take inspiration from this and do something very Quakers related. Now they have kind of done that in the past for sure, but to really like embrace it and just go for it, that would be really cool to see. I like both of these jerseys. The away one is awesome. I love the black shoulders and, and, and black and orange look so good together. Hey, there you go. Okay, so the Pittsburgh uh, Pirates. So it's 1925 to 1930. So it must have been the Pirates that became the Quakers and not the other way around. But uh, this is very expected, very cool. Pittsburgh actually did honor the Pirates by their, I think it was a Winter Classic jersey, not last season, but the season before. It was the off-white, I think it was, with the two lines in the background and the P. And uh, it was really cool to see them do that. If the Pirates did exist, man, these would be cool jerseys. Uh, a little bit Boston Bruins, obviously, with that, with the uh, the away or the white, and the home jersey is very. Uh, it's not Boston. It's it's a little bit of Pittsburgh. It's a little bit of Nashville. Um, it's cool. It's very cool. Uh, the Quebec Bulldogs. Yeah, I forgot about the Quebec, Bull Quebec Bulldogs as well. This is really cool. I love this jersey design. This reminds me of not the colors, but the jersey design. There's a team in the QMJHL called the Armada. They use black and white, and their jerseys were designed very similarly with the layout in terms of the big swatch of color in the middle, the big kind of backing section, and the kind of the almost squared off colors coming down. I like that, I think that's pretty cool. And it looks good here as well for the Quebec Bulldogs. I think this would be a very popular jersey. Uh, next, the Quebec Nordiques. Well, obviously we have to have these, 1979 to 1995. And uh, the numbers on the shoulders look really good. I wasn't expecting that for this design. The fleur-de-lis coming up the sleeves looks pretty good too. It's kind of tough when you take the Nordiques that has such an iconic and loved jersey and to change that into something that's not too different, not dis not too disrespectful, into something that people are still going to like and still not going to be like, oh, it's too far from the original or it's not the original, I hate it. Zach's done a really good job here. Like that is a completely accept acceptable design and not only acceptable, but plausible. Not only if the team came back and looked like this, like that, I could totally see them doing something like this. But if they did the rebrand that they were going to do, different logo, different whatever, we can talk about that another time. But if they had have stayed in the NHL and just decided to spruce up their jerseys a little bit, this is very plausible. We could have seen this back in uh, in the 90s here, the early 90s, uh, mid 90s. So this is wonderful execution. I really like both of these jerseys. Great job, Zach. St. Louis Eagles, another team I kind of forgot about, 1934 to 1935. The red logo on the dark blue gets lost on me a little bit with the home jersey, but the away jersey is pretty good. I mean, it's a relatively simple jersey design. Not a lot to say here. Both are nice. Uh, Winnipeg Jets, 1979 to 1996. Then, of course, they moved on, and then they came back as a different franchise. But this is, I mean pretty close in a way to what the Jets have done branding wise with some of their alternates. Their current alternate looks like the home a little bit in this scenario. The away looks good as well. I, I like both. They definitely wouldn't change any. Look awesome. That wraps it up. So we had 19 to go through. 19 times two is what? 38? So I can guess it myself. Yeah, 38. <laughs> uh, my favorite. I mean, there's there's too many good ones in here to give honorable shout outs. I'd have to do the video all over again, honestly. My favorite, okay, I'm going to say the Colorado Rockies are my favorite, but that's a little bit biased. I'm just obsessed with that branding. But I think my unbiased favorite is probably, oh, man, the Nordics one is so good. It's it's really, the Nordics one is really, really good. I was going to say Atlanta. I'll throw Atlanta up there because it's executed perfectly. But I think that the Nordiques, I'll put that one back up. I think that one's the, the more difficult challenge because to redesign that jersey and to change it, but also keep it completely acceptable is I think a, maybe a difficult thing to do. And Zach's done a really good job here, both on the home and the away. So what I, I don't know what you guys think. Let me know down below in the comment section. But I had a great time going through this and looking at these jersey concepts. It was a nice little kind of switch up from, uh, from what we normally do. 
But uh, yeah, thank you, Jack, so much for submitting those. That was really cool to go through those. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your favorite down below in the comment section. We'd love to know which one you like the best. And if you didn't like any of them, let me know that too. Let me know your least favorite. Sir Zach would love some constructive feedback and criticism too. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you hit the like button down below. That helps the channel quite a bit and helps me. And if you're new and you want to see more videos like this, of course, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you join the family here at Post to Post. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great weekend. Adios.